Hey, Tear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. You shouldn't linger. want to do the right thing and according to prophecy speak no more of prophecy war will not give you the purpose you seek atreus only slaughter so what are we supposed to do roll over do nothing enough we will discuss our next move when we are out of danger Dark Elf Assault. How fortuitous. For the sake of fighting elves, oh. can't they just leave us alone? Watch your left! <laughs> 
Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Here. We... Open the gateway, please. yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. And now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. We should be able to reach the barons up top. Once we find a way past this hive matter. Travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. This axe just keeps getting stronger. What can I make for you? And Atreus? Kratos?
Have we more to talk about? What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. <gasps> Someone trained them to pull a sled. Oh! Domesticated Gulon. Most unusual. A direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? <sighs> a tempting treasure chest! <clears throat> Damn the <this> sand! <clears throat> underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Great. <laughs>
know. Now that I know more about the Dark Elves, I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alpha, can you really blame them? Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. or whatever much has changed for both of us well yeah i'm just trying to figure out why you helped some random animal is this not what you want no no it, it is i'm just surprised it's what you want too
to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there. I remember a young lad who, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't. Dark elves. We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay.
Bloody half your five ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Luch. Get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Wiener, so. Oh boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, we can all be winners. There's got to be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. like it can move now, but it still can't get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Afghans are known to burrow. Well, I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? We received the creature enslaved. No. Then let us free it. We can cut the half goof and lose here. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our Dark Elf friends, after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. Well, he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches... I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. 
for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what. To do. We fought in Svartalfheim. Those were Einherjar? I thought Einherjar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Son went into the night to find him, found Thor instead. And there was Thamor's son, Greenfield. He broke oh! the walls of Asgard and whispered something of importance oh! there before his betrayal and assassination. Enough. We will continue later. it means. I've seen more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought Queen the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a... Okay. 
Okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Oh. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. Hold. We will finish later. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. Remember to ask here about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. Hmm. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. I think that means... Another half, Gufa. Should we get back to listing all the awful deeds of the Aesir God? Let this wait. Stay alert. Odin stories to remember? You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Though admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. 
The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Set that aside for now. Come. I hope Tyr's had enough time to find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. If I can't be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will... There. Ah, you figured it out. Very well. You know how to reach me now. But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend... Perhaps later. Okay. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. Lucky for you, I'm still buying. For now, please allow me to cook for you. Dress, eat. Oh, careful, careful. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A male fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I 
cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... Use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that... Oh, oh Atreus. My son. I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Idy. Already gone.